good morning good afternoon good evening I am angry very angry ends the background ends the lighting ends the theme I am upset I am very very angry I am very angry at the state of the church I am very angry at leaders I am extremely upset I am very angry because a lot of you have been indoctrinated with false theologies I am very angry because a lot of your leaders that climb the podium you haven't dealt with your flesh I am upset with you leaders I am angry with the prophets I'm angry very angry we try to come online and edify the church we come online and try to pour into the church but you don't listen you don't you don't listen I'm angry I'm very upset I wrote a book called the great misconception but today for a very short time and what I want to say today I won't say again I will say for the last time but what I want to do now I haven't done this before I'm upset with the church I'm upset with leaders the prophets I'm upset I'm upset I'm angry and I'm not angry because I want to gain your attention I'm seriously vexed in my spirit I am upset in my spirit because you don't listen because the prophets don't listen I shouldn't be online now I shouldn't be online at this time I've tried to maintain my cool for the last years but this thing is not changing and you guys have become proponents or perpetrators of these demonic acts called prophecy in the church I'm upset I'm upset I have a live much later with my students at about 7 p.m. London time I should be preparing and praying but something came up today that um something came up today I am God's prophet and I understand the times that we are but I also understand the emotion of God and one of the things that I do is that I try to make prophets become people we have emphasized on making people so prophetic that it's a mess i want to share something with you it came online i have to investigate this what i want to say now what i want to do right now i haven't done this before in my life no long ago i was having a good time drove out with my friend sorry drove out with my wife and my in-law we just drove out to um, not so far from us about an hour back and forth and something came up on my Facebook and I saw a lot of shares on, on online and the first thing I want to talk about is someone that I know not personally but I know because I have declined an invitation because the Lord said to me not to accept the invitation I'm upset with the way things are because you have been told a lie you have been told that you are wired differently prophets you have been told that you're not like every other person. You have been told a lie. We have fathers in the faith that have lied to you. They've looked at you in the eyes and have told you that you are special, that you are different, that you are wired differently, that the reason why you throw tantrums is because you're a pro they have lied to you. And for years they have been lying to you that the reason why you have a problem with your temper is because you are a prophet. The reason why you have a problem with your temper is because you're you, it's a lie from the pit of hell. And they come up with all sort of, you know, prophets are so emotional. And, and they excuse your dysfunction by your call. There is no place in the Bible that tells us the prophet is mad. You are not wed. You are wired to be like Christ. What you call, I'm wired differently, is a weird misconception. The Bible says, I'll give you two scriptures and I'll be out of your way. The Bible says this. 
Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. As a prophet, when you begin to have the mind of your own, or the mind of whatever you call it, that is not the mind of Christ, there is a problem. I am upset at the moment with how the leaders have taught you a lie and told you what the prophets throw tantrums and they're very emotional. You need to put your emotions in check. I'm upset. You need to put your emotion in check. This foolishness we call the prophet is a, is a problem. And I'll show you the reason why. Just watching the news today, this is a screenshot of someone that I, I know. Not on a personal level, but I said many times, this man shot his wife seven times, a prophet of God that has a big church and a big following in Orlando. Just because you cannot control, control the emotions. You chased your wife, followed her up because she left the house and you shot your wife seven times and you are the prophet of a church. You have a member. What kind of wire differently is this? What kind, what kind of foolishness is this? And will justify this foolish length by well, it was just he was just emotional. He can't control, control his emotion. Who told you that you're wired differently from the other believers? Who told you where's this life coming from? That a man would you've spent years with your wife, you 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 shot your wife, killed her in the spot at the spot, shot her seven times, and you are a prophet. What kind of what kind of temper do you have? I saw this. I wept. I saw this. Because I know of this person. I know of him very well. But the church would justify the fact that he did that because he, he couldn't control his emotion. He's a prophet. Prophets are wired differently. Who told you that is a dysfunction that is demonic? Just not, not too long ago. That a man who was a prophet of a church, a well-known church in Florida... A well-known, I believe it's for a well-known church, for some temper or for some reason, drove, pursued your wife, and shot her seven times. Not one, seven times. What kind of anger is that? What kind? What kind of temper? But when you are showing the signs, your fathers in the faith did not call you on the side and tell you you need to walk on your temper. They said the word is part of the call. And I'm saying this to say to you, a lot of you that have issues with your temper and you, 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 you're justifying your temper by your call. When you find these things in people, you tell them it is not part of the call. It is a demonic system or power that you need to break off your life. It is not part of the call. The call of a prophet has nothing to do with your tantrums. You need to grow past your thought and grow past this, this wicked demonic theology. We see this thing happen in the church. We see, we see people with so, 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 so terrible temper. And instead of the church, the leaders will tell the prophets, you need counseling, you need therapy, you need to see a therapist and they need to work on your temper. We allow you and feed that beast in you. We feed that beast and tell the beast and tell, well, you are a prophet. It's part of you. Who told you? you are the, pro the fathers in the faith and the, the schools of the prophet, we are feeding your beast. And telling you you were a prophet. So it's okay to be to, to have temper. Who told you? The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you. So it's telling me a man, a prophet of a church that has members, a lot of members, a very known church. I, I think I saw his Facebook like fans, almost 60,000 followers. Very well known. For a man to drive that much, not shoot your wife once. What did she do? What what is the worst that she could have done? Maybe have children that are not your children. What's the worst that she could have done? Maybe cheated on you. It's, it's, that is the worst she could do to you. She cheated on you or done something evil. But to drive them as a leader of the church and shot your spouse seven times. Kofi, hmm. I'm using to teach you because the people people like us as prophets, we need to say what it is. You may not like it. You may bounce off my Facebook. I'm not here to, to petro pacify or patronize you so you can leave my Facebook. I'm upset. You don't have a right to tell me what I'm teaching on this. I'm using it to teach the church on temper. This is the reason why we have a lot of people who are dysfunction. So you don't come on my Facebook life and tell me you need to bounce off my Facebook life. It's not the time to patronize or pacify foolishness. These are foolishness in the church. I'm not, I've never done this before, but I have to do this. That a, a prophet of a church, sure, this is something that needs to be told. You don't come on my Facebook and tell me why am I using it. How dare you say that foolishness to me? 
The church is in mess, and you're telling me, uh, why would I not teach with this? Why would I not teach with this? You stand there, you're telling me why I'm using this. What, you, how, what foolishness is that? How dare you tell me that? If this was my brother, I would say the same thing. If this was my father, I would say the same thing. How dare you tell me why I'm, I'm why, why would I not say it? How dare you? Come on my Facebook live. The body of Christ is such, is such a shock that this has happened. You're telling me how dare. If it was my brother who did the same thing, I would say the same thing. You don't, you don't, you don't have a right to come and bounce off my Facebook. Bounce off. You don't have a right to come on my Facebook and tell me nonsense. It's not a time to play pity party. It's not a time to be loyal to a dysfunctional sister, dysfunctional sister. Telling me how they what am I using stuff to they leave my Facebook live. I'm talking to people that dysfunction in the body of Christ. You're there asking me one one step. How dare you say that? Be careful of the people you speak to in this time. I've never done this before. I should never. Don't ever. This is the foolishness of the that I'm not we could say hi and hello another time, but I'm saying something that is a problem in the church. I'm not I'm not denying this call. It's a prophet of the Lord. I know it's a prophet. I never said it was it was a prophet, but I did not deal with his temper with his temper. What are you talking about? I'm not doing no politics here. Listen, I'm not a political prophet. I speak the word of the Lord. I never one time said he was not true. I never said he was a false prophet. I never called him false. I said he had a temper. It's all over social media. This is all over social media. And this, by the way, this, by the way, is from the Orlando Police Department. It's not something secret. It's not secret. So you, 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 know, you don't come on my, on my Facebook and rant nonsense. You don't do that. I don't know you personally, so don't come spit nonsense on my Facebook live. If you have a problem with me, you might as well unblock me, unblock me, unfollow me. Then come on my Facebook and tell me not to address what the Lord has put as a body in my heart. How dare you? I will say this on any platform. If my brother does the same thing, I will say that if my father does the same thing, I will say the same thing. How dare you say what I I'm a prophet of God. I don't care about your emotions. And I'm addressing the church on how to seek therapies. If, if you know that there's a problem with your temper, go find a therapist, find a counselor. Meet someone that you believe can help you. If I have a problem with anger or temper, I need help. But people like prophets, people like us, prophetic people, we have taught the church on how to work. It is part of the makeup. It's not part of the makeup. If you have a problem with your temper, go see a therapist. Ask the Lord to help you. And you come on my Facebook live and tell me what am I saying that? The church is messed up. The prophets are messed up. We have people who are prophets that are beating their wives, their, their spouses. And they tell me because we can't work on our temper. How dare you say that to me? I believe you're a prophet. And as a prophet, you should be saying stuff like, you know what? We need to pray for the church. If it's your blood brother, listen, it's your blood but If it's my father, I will say the same thing, bro. It doesn't matter if it's your blood, it's wrong. I did not call him a false prophet. I called this temper. He did that because he was angry. No man can shoot his wife seven times. He did that. It's all over social media. If my brother did the same thing, I would call it out. It is wrong. I did not say it's not a prophet. I said the reason why he did that was because probably he was upset. He was upset and he did what he did. I will not go to him in private because he's already in public. I'm teaching the church to temper. He did what he did because he was angry. And there's nothing wrong with being angry. But that could be controlled. It is not right for you to silence what God is allowing me to say. I've never, everyone that knows me, I've never said this before. I've never come on social media and said, because this has become something that is taught in the church every time. The prophet is weird. You're not weird. You have, the Bible says, let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus. We have men of God. We have prophets that, that abuse their wives. They don't, you don't even know. They abuse their you don't even You don't even know. You're telling me to go to the man who shot his wife. I don't know him. I don't know the man. And all I can do is speak to prophets right now. We need to put our lives. We need to put our lives in check. And all these things about we are we are wired. We are wired. We are not wired. You are not wired. You are wired in the mind of Christ. She may have done something 
Some of them have done something that offends you. And I understand. We have a right to be angry. But this, the level of anger that led to that. I may not, I'm, I'm, I may not get the full, but to the fact, I investigated the case. I investigated it. And it may, might have done something wrong. But the truth, the word of the Lord is this, that we have the mind of Christ. It, it doesn't warrant that. And I'm using this to teach the body of Christ, the church. You may not like me. You may not you like what I'm saying. You need help. If you know you have issues with your temper, prophetic people, prophetic people seem to be so hot-tempered. And the word, or you prophets are so hot-tempered. We seem to be very hot-tempered. If there is a problem, you need to go find, find see, see a therapist. You are not wired different. You're not wired. You have the mind of Christ. And I said it because I've got sons and daughters in the faith that have issues with temper also. And I'm saying because someday if it never came out that my son or my daughter in the faith shot someone, how would I feel? I think we need to teach prophets to become people. And I respect everything you might say here. But the word of the Lord is still. I'm using this as an example because the church has been told we are wired, we are prophets, you are wired. I believe if you have if you have temper, you have temperament or temper that needs to check, you go see a therapist or a counselor. No, prophets, you're not wired differently. No, prophets, you're not weird. No, prophet is not the truth. The man is a prophet of the Lord, and I believe he is a prophet. I will not argue his call. He is a prophet of God. But he did that what he did because of anger. And that anger can be curtailed, that anger can be controlled. No matter how bad it is, no matter how friendly you are, prophetic people, never allow people to tell you that anger is part of the call. No, anger is not part of the call. Anger is not part of the call. We need to come to a place where we say, God, you know what? I submit my life before you. I'm, 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 I've prayed about this. I did not come up here to just me. I am a prophet of God. I asked the Lord, should I do this? The Lord says, you need to tell the people, tell the, especially the prophet that I've been taught, that it's okay to be weird. It's not okay. You're not wired. You are wired to have the mind of Christ. And when will I go private when it's public already? It's public. If the case ever became a lie in, in any style, it's still true that prophetic people are, are hot-tempered. Do you not know that you're hot-tempered? Do you not know? But, but, but must I allow my temper to control me? And because the church has told you that the prophet is wired differently and the prophet is very emotional, we've allowed this lie sink in our spirit. And what we have done right now, we've allowed people to tell us that the prophet is wired differently. That's what they've taught us. And because of that, we throw tantrums, we get emotional, we get upset. The things that isn't that doesn't the, the thing the thing that needs just a laughter, just a smile, just, just naturally, normally, there are things you just smile about and just forget, but you've taken it to heart. Why? Because you've been told that you are different. Listen, anything that makes you different from the body of Christ is anti-Christ. Anything that makes you different from the church is anti-church. We are not called to be different. We are called to have the mind of Christ. I'm gonna end with this. And this video might not be here for long. I'm going to say this and I will say it, well, say it well. That we live in a time and an age where the church needs to be told what is right. I believe in the word of the Lord. I will never doubt the man's call. He's called of the Lord. You are called of the Lord. But if we don't deal with our temper, then we are walking on a time bomb. Let the church hear this. Don't allow anyone to tell you. Don't allow anyone to tell you. Otherwise, we all have we all have emotions. We have a right to be angry and upset. But let's deal with our temper. God bless you. Have a good day and bye for now.